Still waiting for a big smile out of you. You're up 2-0. What's the story? Are you not happy or you're only half happy? Or? Just there to be happy about it. You're up 2-0. The job's not finished. The job finished? Ricky I don't think so. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, to, to Chris Blazing Takes. Could have been anywhere in the world. Yeah. But you hear with me. But you hear with me. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So without further ado, without further ado, let's get right into it. Right into it. Yes, sir. Sim World, what it do, what it look like, what it is. This is Rick Blaze coming to you live and direct. Another episode of Rick's Blazing Takes giving you the ins and outs of what's happening in and out and around Sim World. Let's get right to a call and let's talk about it. All right, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about the NFL. Uh, you know, NFL is like a, a year-long situation, right? So the free agent signings, and I will say that my Texans was looking like they would sleep at the wheel day one. Um, they wasn't really making much noise, but I got and I, and I did get. I was worried, but day two was a different story. We signed uh, Danielle Hunter. DN from Minnesota, and we also got Joe Mixon running back from Cincinnati, and we needed some running back help. And, and we also got some other guys, but those two are the highlights. So I'm very happy with what my Texans have done so far this offseason. They look like they're ready to compete. And if nothing else, we're going to always whoop the Jacksonville Jaguars ass because we own them. X Marsh, he will tell you, we own the Jacksonville Jaguars. So as long as that's always true, everything's good with me. But I do wish Trevor Lawrence a very great season this upcoming season. I just drafted him on my dynasty team as one of my quarterbacks. So I hope he plays well. I hope the rest of the team um, does what they normally do. All right. So free now, if you're a Ravens fan, I know you 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 really stoked right now, right? Derrick Henry, Lamar Jackson. But I have one little caveat, Ravens fans. One little caveat. The history of the Ravens running back within the last four or five years have all have this in common. They don't finish a season. They stay hurt. I don't know what's going on with the training staff for the Baltimore Ravens, but they should have been fired years ago. Bro, that's the only team that goes to four, five, six running backs in a single season. So all I'm saying is sign all your running backs, Ravens. Sign every last one of them because you're going to need them because statistically speaking, over the last four, five, six seasons, your running back, this is including your new running back, Derrick Henry, is going to go down at some point during the season. Ouch. Now, let's get into some from football to Sim World Prep basketball. Now, let's get to what I really want to discuss. There's been a lot of discussions, a lot of, you know, talk back and forth about which – who has the best region? Who has the best division in Serum World Prep? And I want to put my little two cents in here on the show today. I've done some research. Yes, your boy has done some research because I want to know exactly. I want to feel like you guys feel. I want to talk about it. I want to cuss and discuss too. I want to put it to bed once and for all. Who's the best region so far uh, in Sim World Prep this season, right? Now, I know about the records. I know everybody's record. Um, I understand that. Now, I also want to put this caveat on. The research I've done is as of last week. So, the wins that happened, the wins and losses that took place last night didn't account into that. If there's any games that happened over the weekend, this past weekend, it didn't account into that. This is as of last week. All right? So, I have to put that caveat out there. But even as of last week, there's definitely enough of a sample size, people love using that word sample size, there's definitely enough of a sample size to get some accurate information. And here's what I found. Very interesting stuff. Most, when we talk about what region is the best, who's the best, this region's the best, that region's the best, the top 14, the bottom team, blah, 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 blah. And people always look at it from the wins, how many wins a team has. And I understand that. But I wanted to take a different approach. I didn't want to just look at the wins. I wanted to see who teams were losing to. Then I want to see more specifically, 
out of the top four teams in each division, who was giving them their losses? Right? Who's beating them? So I took the top four teams at the time. Again, this is as of last week. So some of the standards may have changed slightly, but not too much. So my, the teams on this list are as follows. OGs, Philadelphia, Beast of the East, Lake Shore. They represent the Neo Reach. Cascadia, Heartland. I mean, I'm sorry. They, they represent the Founders Region. I'm sorry. Cascadia, Heartland, Rain and Trays. Bay Area represent the Neo Region. Gulf Coast, Yacht Club, ATLNs, H-Town represent the Southern Region. And for the Intercontinental Region, Atlantis, Europe, Oceania, APAC. So those are the 16 teams of point my research. And here's what I found. I wanted to look, I went back to all of the games by all 16 teams. And I wanted to know not only how many losses you had as a team, I wanted to know what teams beat you, what teams or which region beat you. And to me, that's the better region because when you chances are statistically, as for my research says, when you play against a team in this region, you're more than likely to lose to this team, uh, especially if you're a top four team. Because I want to get the best. I don't care about the bottom feeders. You beating teams that hasn't won a game uh, since Emmitt Smith was on the Cowboys. I don't care about that. Everybody should beat those teams. I want to know of these supposedly the best teams in each division. Who are the best teams of each division losing to? Here's what research has told me. The number one team based on research. The number one team based on research. The number one team who's beaten all of the top four teams in each division the most times spread across the entire season, which to me is the number one. It has to be considered the number one team. The number one region is the Neo region. They've beat 20 out of the out of all 16 teams, top four, top Top four in each division. Four times four is 16. 26 of those losses has come from a team from the Neo region. Now, it's interesting. Interesting information. Out of those 26 uh, wins the Neo region has garnered, they've only beaten the top four international teams one time. That's interesting stuff. They've only beat them one time, and that was the Raining Trades beating Oceana. Other than that, no team in the Neo region has beat any of these intercontinental teams. That is crazy to think about as of last week. Again, I have to put the caveat, as of last week. But the Neo region beats up on everybody else. They have 26 wins against the top four teams um, in each division. So, Neo region is first place. Guess who's second? Y'all guess guessing? Can y'all guess who came in second? as the second toughest region based on my information it was actually a tie between the intercontinental region yes i know and the southern region they both have 25 wins against the top four teams of each division intercontinental has beat teams 20 these teams have lost to the intercontinental teams 25 times and these teams have lost to the the southern region 25 times i didn't do a tiebreaker so who's gonna be second who's gonna be third we're going to just say they both tied for a second. I, I didn't, I didn't, I looked and see, okay, which one of those teams beat, uh, well, you know what? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to break the tie. I'm just going to leave it as tied. It's tied for a second. Guess who's in third? You guessed it. The Founders region with 23. The Founders region have only beat, has, have, not only, has beaten 23 of the top four teams in each division. The least amount. The least amount out of all of the top four. T- Again, I didn't do all the teams. I didn't do all my last place team. I'm not, I'm not adding those folks. These are the top four teams in each division. Out of the top four teams in each division, the Founders region has, won- has beaten those teams the least out of all the other teams, out of all the other regions. So, for once and for all, from our perspective, right now, as we sit, as we stand, the number one region in Sim World Sports is the Neo region. The number two region in Sim World Sports is Intercontinental or Southern. I'm sure you're going to take your pick depending on what side you're on because it's a tie. And the weakest region, as far as beating on teams 
that are actually good is the founders region. Oh, we got a lot of cussing and discussing to do. Somebody check my mouth. I'll see y'all later.